hey guys welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can make time lapse out of some photographs that you have taken right so if i show you here are some photographs that have been taken using a camera if you want to capture very high quality time lapse then you need to capture the photographs individually rather than capturing the time lapse using the pre-built feature on your camera or mobile phone right then you can process those images and out of those images you can make a time lapse so so how you can compile those images in adobe premiere pro that is pretty simple just you have to import the images you can just click and drag the folder here in adobe premiere pro so it will import the images in adobe premiere pro and then you can continue making the process right so if i just right click here then i can go to new item and from here i can go to sequence so first you need to make a sequence which will be the exact same properties that you want to deliver right if you want to make a hd time lapse then you need to make a hd sequence if you want to make a 4k time lapse then you need to make a 4k sequence right so if i go here in settings i want to make a 4k time lapse so i'll just keep it 3840 into 260 then you can give it a name sunset for my case then i can click ok right so here is my sequence and here I hope to import the images in such a manner so that it can play the image one by one and the image duration will be one frame right so how you can do that if you select the image folder then you will see there is a button called automated to sequence right you can click here then you will get a dialog box just like this one and from here you can select the option that you want to choose right so first one is select the order you can select short order or you can select selection order right so if i go here on this folder i can select this image then this image then this image then this image then this image now if i click here and then if i select short order it will place the images sequentially right but if i select selection order it will place the image how i have selected the image right it will place this image first then this image then this image then this image then this image how i have selected those images right so make sure you select the folder then you have to click here and from here you can select selection order if you want to just place the image sequentially then the placement you can select sequentially and the method you can select override if you select override then it will override the video or footages in v1 track but if you select insert it will just insert the clip right i don't have anything here on the sequence so i'll just select override edit and from here you have to select whichever you like still clip duration that is the most important thing so i'll select frame per still and from here i'll select one frame right so it will place one image per one frame if i select two then the duration of one image will be two frame i don't want that so i want to place the images by one frames and from here transition if you want to apply different transition you can apply it i will not apply it if you want to apply default video transition you can apply it i don't want to apply it right so i'll just click ok so you can see here premiere pro already plays the images sequentially now if i play it back you see there is a time lapse going on right so here you can you see the time lapse have been made you can just go here on the end section you can press o on your keyboard then press ctrl m to export the video just name it maybe sunset then select where you want to export it i'll just export it here and then you can select a preset i'll just select a preset maybe high quality 4k then i can select export now premiere pro will export my time lapse and after finishing the exporting i can preview the time lapse or i can upload it on my social media so here is the final output if i play it back you'll see the time lapse is looking great so if you have a bunch of images that you want to turn into a time lapse then you can follow this process in adobe premiere pro you can pretty easily make time lapse in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye